of the governor now, he plans to dedicate $32 million to help with the tuition of qualifying private school students for the upcoming school year. And that announcement has been met with a lot of reaction tonight. Here's Lauren Thomas. Our children, wherever they go to school, they can go where they want to go and get the best ed education possible. Governor Henry McMaster is allocating nearly $32 million towards private schools around the state. So where's that money coming from? Well, it comes from the governor's emergency education relief fund, and that's the federal funding that was given to the governors around the nation in the CARES Act, and it's to support grants to local educational agencies and institutions of higher education most significantly impacted by COVID-19. South Carolina's share is $48 million. So $32 million of that is going to private school student tuition, up to $6,500 per child, but it's based off of income. The executive director of the South Carolina Independent School Association says they help 125 private and independent schools around the state. We are looking at right now probably about a, a 4 to 6% overall decrease in the total number of children that will be attending uh, independent school. Dr. Spencer Jordan says based on the surveys sent to families, a majority want to be able to send their children back to school. And the major issue here with people being able to send their children back is the economic downturn that we've experienced because of the COVID-19 crisis. Mm -hmm. So therefore, these funds may help those students who would not be able to come back to school in an independent school or for those new students that may have that opportunity that have never had that opportunity before. SC for Ed's legislative director says that funding should go to help public schools. Private schools, I'm sure, are hurting right now, but private schools can raise tuition. Private schools can fundraise in different ways that public schools can't do. And at the end of the day, their businesses who are eligible for um, PPP funds from the government that um, public schools aren't. Steve Newsom is a high school English teacher for Richland too and says teachers, while they want to go back to the classroom, are concerned about safety and says funding could have helped schools with their COVID-19 cleaning plants. The state is really refusing and the governor is refusing to take actions that would reduce the spread. I think we're very scared about going back. Dr. Jordan says he understands the concerns but hopes this money can help get kids back in classrooms. Yes, we may have a disagreement over over funds and money, but we should never have a disagreement over what's best for children. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Well, tonight, Governor McMaster says the Department of Administration will be hiring a manager to help work out how funding will get to those students who need it most.